Hey, what's going on everyone? Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Today we're going to help you decide which Liat neck brace might be the best option for you. So they've actually got a pretty wide range now. You have the 5.5, you have the 4.5, which is the latest offering, and then you have the 3.5. And there's a pretty good price range, so the 5.5 comes in at 400 bucks. The 4.5 right now is right around 300, and then the 3.5 is just north of 200. So the goal today is just say, hey, here's the main differences between these to help you decide which one you feel is going to be best depending on what features you feel are going to be most important with your neck brace and also just your budget. So let's get right to it. So first up, 5.5. Now I do want to highlight that there is a 6.5 neck brace from Liat and feature wise it is identical to the 5.5. The only difference between this and that 6.5 is the 6.5 is full carbon construction so it is going to be a little bit lighter but other than that what I'm about to show you with the 5.5 they're identical so just something to be mindful of. However with the 5.5 if you are looking for the most adjustability of any neck brace and this goes of all the neck braces that we offered the 5.5 and that 6.5 just have the most adjustment points. And that leads me to a very important thing. With any neck brace, make sure you look at the sizing guide, get the size that you are fitted for. And when you get it, try it on, make sure you're happy with how it fits, and if it's not fitting correctly, you can send it back in brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. And the reason I'm, I'm very particular about this is because for a neck brace to do its job the best, you want to have it contacting your body and you want to have it sitting as low as you can get it. And I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a moment. But what makes the 5.5 so cool is their sure fit adjuster system. So you can see it right here. See this little red tab? Well, underneath that, you can see on the back, there's actually six different mounting locations for this rear strut. And you can see I can actually just slide this back and forth. So you've got six points of adjustment here. And then on the front, you've got four more points of adjustment. So that's 10 total spots, and then you can interchange those as much as you want to do a bajillion combos, but it's just gonna allow you to really fine tune the fit of this neck brace. So whether you're wearing it just against your body or you're wearing a chest protector or protection jacket, you can get the size exactly how you want it. And on top of that, you notice too, that right here on this thoracic strut, you have this rubber piece that sits on top. So this, when you buy a 5.5 or the 6.5, it will come with several of these. And there, what these do is actually have that thoracic strut sit at a different angle. So right now you can see that it's basically almost straight up and down. Well, if you want to go in a little bit or come out a little bit, you just interchange these rubber pieces and allows you to do that. So you've got the sure-fit adjusters plus these rubber pieces on that strut that just give you a ton of adjustability. Now the way that the 5.5 opens and closes is you have the button right here on the side. So I would just press that very easy to operate. And then in the event of an emergency, if you need to get this off in two pieces so you're not moving the rider's head, you have this screw on the left, you would just undo that and then this would come apart in two different pieces. So again, the 5.5, really cool technology. I've ridden in this one. If you wanna see my feedback and my review, go watch that. You can click the link in the video. But overall, again, the premium neck brace and the reason being, you're getting tons of adjustability with that. And then you move to the 4.5. So this is the latest offering in their lineup. So you come down about $100 in price. And here's the major differences. So with the 4.5, a little bit different with the construction. This is a composite construction versus a fiberglass reinforced construction on the 5.5. But the main difference here is that you're just not going to get as much adjustability. Now it is lighter. So when I pick these two up, you can notice there is a weight difference, about a few ounces between the 4.5 and the 5.5. So I like that. It's still, again, very comfortable. But you'll notice that on the back here with this thoracic strut, that the way that you adjust this when you have two adjustment points. And to adjust it, you just take this screw out. So you have one on each side. You'd pop that out, and that's going to allow you to move this one position forward or one position back. So just not as much adjustability. And then with these chest mounts here, those are fixed. So those are not going to have any adjustment points whatsoever. So quite a bit more adjustability with the 5.5, but with the 4.5, again, about 100 bucks cheaper, super lightweight, comfortable neck brace. But this one does open and close a little bit differently. So right here, the button is on the front underneath, so I'd push on that that's going to allow me to open and close that. The other thing that you might want to take note of is with the 5.5 I mentioned, if you want to get the brace off, you can just undo the screw on the left, it comes apart in two pieces. 
with the 4.5, you would actually have to cut this piece of foam right here in the back. So it'd be a little bit more work to get this neck brace off in that situation if you did need to. Hopefully, you never have to cross that bridge, but that is one of the differences that I did notice. So again, that's the 4.5. And then last, you have the 3.5. So least expensive option, you're just over 200 bucks. So same amount of adjustment points as the 4.5. So you have two different locations for this rear strut. Now, as far as construction goes, a little bit different. They call it a polymide material, so, but it's still very lightweight. It feels just as light as the 4.5. So here's the main differences. You get two points of adjustability with the 3.5, just like the 4.5. However, with this one, it's a little bit different. You have these little red tabs right here. So I would just pull those out and that's gonna allow me to move this thoracic strut forward or back. And I will say though, that even at the lower price, I like this setup more than the 4.5, just because the 4.5, you gotta have that Allen wrench. Now, once you set the neck brace the first time, you're probably gonna leave that way forever. So it's probably not that big of a deal, but this one is just a little bit easier to adjust this forward or back, but that comes with the price. Now, so 4.5, this folds up out of the way, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to put in your gear bag or to store, a little bit less cumbersome, so if you're traveling. So that is one thing that is nice about the 4.5, because with the 3.5, you can't do it. This thing is fixed, so with those tabs, that doesn't allow this to pivot, and so if you want to take this off to store it to make it a little bit smaller, you got to just pull those out and then store it as two separate pieces. So that is one thing to note. Now, same thing goes if you want to get this off in two pieces, you need to cut this piece here in the back as well. And then also the way that this one opens and closes is a little bit different. You have this little tab right here in the front. So I'll just press that in and that's going to allow me to get that open. Now you just noticed it takes a little bit more work to press that in and it's just not the best system out of the three, but it gets the job done. And then the last thing that I noticed between the 3.5 and the other two is that with these chest mounts right here, so they all have a split design, is they just don't have as much flexibility as the other two. And so for me, you know, looking at a neck brace, I like that the 4.5 and the 5.5, those chest mounts do flex a little bit more. It just feels to me like it would help absorb and dampen a little bit of energy coming from my helmet if my head was going forward. So overall, like I said, they got three great options. All three of these have tabs on the side. Those are to integrate with the brace on system that Liat utilizes with all their chest protectors and protection jackets. And that leads me to another point that I wanna cover because I feel like this is really important. If you're shopping for one of these, I already mentioned it earlier with the fit, you want these to sit as low on your shoulders as possible, as close to your chest and your back. So make sure that it fits well with whatever protection that you're wearing also. I see a lot of riders that are wearing neck braces and they just kind of plop them on top of their shoulders. And a lot of times, depending on what setup you're using, I feel like they're, they sit too high up off the shoulder or too far off the back of the chest. And so what I notice is sometimes when you have that and it's sitting too far off your body, then I feel like a neck brace can start to really limit your range of motion and not allow the rider to get in the proper riding position and have the correct technique. And I think technique is probably the main reason why riders do have crashes. So the better technique you can have, the safer you can ride. So you just wanna make sure that your neck brace is not going to impede your range of motion. It's still going to allow you to be in the correct riding position when you have this on. So with Liat, again, their chest protectors, protection jackets, all of them are designed to integrate with their braces to get the best fit possible to get it close to your body. Plus they have that brace on system. If you're not gonna utilize that, these all come with a chest strap. So all the chest straps on all three, they're gonna connect here in the front and this, they also connect in the back. Personally, it's not my favorite because you have to wear the straps over top of your jersey, they come underneath your arms. I feel like that's just gonna start to rub and irritate me a little bit. So if I was wearing a Liat neck brace, I would try and couple it with a protection, protection accessory from them so I could utilize that brace on system. If you have questions or comments, though, we'd love to get those answered. Make sure to leave those in the comment section below. To grab one, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. If you like this video and you want to stay up to date, get subscribed, hit that notification bell. We have product spotlights on all of the neck braces from Liat. So if you want to learn more about these, a little bit more detail, give those a watch. We also do have a neck brace buyer's guide where we have all the brands up on the table and I go through all of those and I talk about the major differences to help you decide which might be best. I am Chase. We'll stay on the trails.